Hi and welcome. Today we are going to move to the second module of IELTS, that's reading. And in reading today, we will discuss about the matching heading questions. We will discuss about what type of question you are going to see in the exam, uh, what are the tips and strategies, and then we will sort out some examples as well. So let's get started. First of all, what we will cover today. Explanation of this question type, skills which are needed, key tips, the strategy, and at last, examples from real test papers. So first of all, let's start with the explanation of this question type. Uh, in the exam, you will be given some titles and a list of paragraphs. Uh, there will be eight paragraphs, there could be nine, there could be five, entirely depend upon the examiner what they give you. And with that, you will be given a list of titles. We will see some examples as well, then you will be having a better idea. You are required to find out an appropriate title for every paragraph. So for example, if you are seeing the A paragraph, you are seeing the B paragraph, you are seeing the C paragraph, it's just like you are given a news and you have to find out an appropriate headline. For the headline, you have options. So you have to give a title to every paragraph. Read the instructions carefully. You may be asked to use any of the headings more than once. So sometimes they say to you to use any of the headings more than once. So we have to read the instructions very, very carefully. If they have said, then one answer is surely going to be repeated. So completely be aware of that. Now, let's see the example. As you are seeing on the screen, there are in total nine titles and there are paragraphs A, paragraph B, paragraph C, D and paragraph F. E heading is already solved. So we are not going to waste time to read the E paragraph and find out the title for that. But we have to read the A paragraph, B paragraph, C, D and F. And then we have to assign the title to every paragraph. When we will write the answer on our answer sheet, we don't have to read, read, write down the complete line. We just have to write, write down the Roman title. As if you are seeing the first number, second number, third number, fourth number, whatever the title is there, we have to write down the complete that title. For example, section A's answer it's the new prospects for world trade. So I don't need to write down the complete line like the new prospects for world trade. I just have to write down I and X. It means ninth. That is the Roman number. So make sure we don't have to write down the complete line or an answer sheet. We just have to write down the number. I hope it's clear. Now, next one. So what is basically the aim of this question? The aim of this type of question is to test if you are able to understand the main idea of each paragraph or not. They have given you a paragraph, so they just want to find out your skill, whether you, want, you are able to understand the main idea, you are able to understand the central idea of every paragraph or not. So what are basically the problems that students face? You may have the same problem in case if you have already solved the headings, then probably you came across the same sort of problems that we are going to discuss. There are always more headings than paragraphs. So sometimes or most of the times it becomes harder to narrow down the correct ones. This problem student often face. Next one, some headings will be very similar in meaning. Uh, students often come to us and they do say that like, 
two of the headings were same of the three of the headings were the same so i got a bit confused i selected one but the second was correct answer or i selected second first was the correct answer i'm sure this problem would be with you as well it's easy to confuse specific details in a paragraph with the main idea they may be different they can give you the details they can give you uh, the same words whichever the uh, these are present in the title but make sure these are only distractors so we don't have to mix up those details with the central idea remember our focus must be to find out the central idea not the details so don't be distracted towards that synonyms and paraphrasing will often be used so we have to be very aware we have to completely see what are the exact synonyms what is the exact paraphrasing so we don't have to be confused the last but not least it's easy to spend too much time on the step of question time is very crucial part for the reading so we don't have to spend most of the time or we don't have to spend a uh, maximum time on any of the particular category these are the problems that you are going to face or probably that you have faced in your ielts reading in your headings category no worries now we are going to come up with the solutions so what are the key tips the first and foremost cross out each heading in the text booklet as you match it to a paragraph this will eliminate it from further concentration as you move on to other paragraphs it's just like suppose we have read the a paragraph we have given it an appropriate title from our side or we are just finding it out in the list uh in the list you have nine headings okay so if you think that you have read the first heading if you think first heading is going to be there then shortlist it but if you think that it's not going to be there then cross it out if you think that second hand heading is going to be there shortlist it if you think it's not going to be there eliminate it so just eliminate those answers which you think answers are not there which you consider that these answers are not don't belong to the paragraph a just mark it wrong so that at last you will be having fewer options and then there will be higher chances to come to the correct answer next one work through the paragraphs in order but move on if you are struggling to find that heading match come back to it once you have eliminated more headings and have fewer to choose between obviously you have to go in order you have to go uh, to b after doing a you have to move to c after doing b you have to move to d after doing c but in case if you are thinking or if you are observing that you are taking too much time in solving the first heading or in solving the any of the paragraph so leave it and move to the next this thing is very important why it will help you because you are suppose you are done with a you are confused with b leave it solve c solve d solve e solve f further headings and when you are done with that then come back to b because at last we will be having fewer options so in this way we can easily find our correct answer now we will sort out or we will do move on to the strategies part what are the strategies to solve these kind of questions the first strategy read text first and then headings the second strategy read heading first then text you can do any one which is suitable for you some teachers recommend students to read the text first however some recommend to read the headings first you can do any and you can choose it from your side whatever you find comfortable you can go with that so today we will do the questions we will solve the questions with both categories with both strategies first of all strategy 1 remember in this we have to read text first and then we have to move to the headings so in this what you have to do first of all read the instructions 
then read the first paragraph because we are going to read the text first. Then summarize the main idea. No headings, okay? First of all, first paragraph. Then summarize the main idea. Then read the headings. Then eliminate incorrect headings. Match the similar ones. And at last, select the suitable option. I hope the thing is clear. Remember, first of all, read the instructions. Then read the first paragraph. Then summarize the main idea. Then move on to the headings. Then eliminate incorrect headings. Then match the similar ones. And then select the suitable option. So let's solve. Choose the correct heading from the list. It means no heading is going to be repeated. So we are given a list, but we are not going to see this because we have to read the paragraph first. So let's take time to read the paragraph. With upwards of 300 product launches, installation and exhibitors, London's annual nine-day design festival is a showcase of head-spinning choice in many ways. That's the beauty of the extravaganza. Everyone has a different experience and takes something unique away from it. There were, however, some intriguing themes and trends in the year's edition that spoke to larger social or cultural preoccupations. So tell me what you have noticed in this. What I have noticed is they are more telling about the products. They are more telling about the equipments or they are more telling about the machines or something like exhibitions. So we have find out our title, right? Now we will move on to the list of habits. The first one, examples of customization. Did you talk about the customization? I believe no. Unusual keepsakes. Keepsakes means memory. Did you talk about the memory of someone? No. Third, a new approach. No. They were talking about something display of the product, something like that. Right. And a simple cell phone? No. It wasn't there. Unbelievable material? It was not. A strange TV? TV, they talked about the product, but they didn't highlight TV particularly, right? So, number of products shown on the festival. Is it so? Let's read again. With upwards of the 300 product launches, installations and exhibitions, London's annual nine-day design festival is a showcase of the head spinning choice in many ways. That's the beauty of the extra weekends. Oh yes, they are talking about the 300 product launches and they are also talking about the nine day design festival. So this could be our answer. Number of products shown on the festival. Three designs of a software. Are they talking about the three designs of a software? Let's read, remember? They have talked about the three design. So in case if this heading is correct, then we must get the three design. There were some intriguing themes and trends in this year's edition that spoke to large social or the cultural preoccupation. Yes, they have talked about the themes, but they haven't talked about the three designs or they haven't talked about the three themes. So our this heading is also going to be incorrect. So what would be our correct answer? That is... Yes, seventh. I hope it's clear. Now let's move on to the next part. Now we will do the strategy number second. Read headings first, then text. In this part, first of all, read the headings. Underline keywords. It's very important part. Identify similar titles. Which titles are similar to each other? Identify those. Read the first paragraph, choose the matching heading, 
move on and repeat it for all sections so what we are going to read it now what are going to read first headings then we are going to underline keywords then we are going to the identify similar titles then we are going to read the first paragraph afterwards we will choose the matching heading which one would be the matching heading according to the first paragraph we are going to choose that then move on and then we have to repeat for all sections so in this next question we will read the headings first we will not read the passage so let's move to the next part choose the correct heading from the list so we are having a list of headings the first one is examples of customization so our keyword is customization second one unusual keepsakes unusual means uncommon keepsakes means the products which are kept in the memory of someone which are preserved in the memory of someone for example we keep the products of the or we keep uh, some antique items of our ancestors so these are the keepsakes but which are unusual unusual means uncommon the next one it's a new approach it means a new idea a new invention something next one a simple cell phone next unbelievable material next one we have a strange tv next number of products shown on the festival anyways we have done this first so we are going to eliminate this one the last but not least three designs of a software remember three is there so three must be there make sure in the passage three designs must be there if you want to read if you want to go through the headings once again pause the video once and then you can go through the headings again after going through the headings then you have to come to the paragraph so this is our paragraph let's read it a definite highlight was the massive space taken over by the design and crafts council of ireland and filled with the weavers and the potters doing their thing and showing their wares irish design had another delectable stand over at the rochel school in east london too the souvenir project was a series of the nine non clutch souvenirs made in ireland and included a rainbow plate by the nicolas moss pottery that featured rows of animals flowers and watering cans and commemorated the legalization of the same sex marriage in ireland in may 2015 so what you have noticed in this paragraph what you have found out in this paragraph what do you think what could be the title of this are they talking about the customization is it so they are talking about the keepsakes are they talking about the memory of someone is it so so what they are saying let's read it again once a definite highlight was a massive space taken over by the design and the craft council of the ireland and filled with the weavers and the potters doing their thing and showing their wares okay irish design had another delectable stand over at the rochelle school in east london too the souvenir project was a series of nine non clutch souvenirs made in ireland and included a rainbow plate by the nicolas moss pottery that features rows of animals flowers and watering cans and commemorated the legalization of the same sex marriage in ireland in may 2015 as we read the heading as we read the paragraph twice we got an idea that what they are talking about yes they are talking about the 
commemorated this one commemorated the legalization of the same sex marriage commemorated means they reminded of that they remembered that so what we can say it is not customization we read about the memory that is a yes unusual keepsakes unusual means uncommon it was not common they didn't say that it was available everywhere it was it belonged to the particular person that was a nicolas mos portrait so that's why the answer it's going to be second so now this is the end of our heading category i hope you are clear with the doubts whatever you had in the heading make sure whenever we are solving the heading we can do any of the category whatever we think that we could uh, find suitable for us we can go through anything like whatever in case if you think that uh, reading heading first is convenient for you then go with that but in case if you find out that uh, is more better to read the paragraph then you can go with that so i'll recommend you to do more and more practice of this category and if any doubt is there just let me know